welcome back to my channel so i am actually so stressed out right now because i really need to leave because i'm going to have like one last full day with my friends today before i leave for america so i just wanted to make this super quick so today i'm going to show you another 10 things list video and today it is 10 things to do before you go back to school i know some of you are already in school like you've already gone back to school but some of you have not and even if you have you can still use these tips and i think they'll overall help you with your ear so so i really hope that you like this video but i also wanted to say that um because i know i'm getting comments about it i know i've done a lot of these videos in the past but that's because i love them but i really try to make this video somewhat different and i really like how it turned out so i hope that you are going to like it too and also don't take this too seriously i mean i'm just 17 i have no idea what i'm doing if you need like serious tips on how to go back to school Ask someone else, a teacher maybe. I don't really know. But that is it, and let's get into it. The first thing on my 10 things list is to pick out what you're going to wear on the first day of school. So on the first day, you want to look good and you want to show everyone how you glue up over the summer. And you want to give everyone a good first impression. So picking out what to wear can be kind of hard. So I would suggest to go and look in your closet. And if you can't find an inspiration in there, you should go and watch back to school outfits videos on YouTube. I have a few if you want to check those out. I personally like them and hopefully you'll get some ideas. So write down what you plan on wearing so you won't forget it and try it on to make sure you feel comfortable and that's pretty much it. <laughs> the second thing is make a cute video with your friends of your summer memories. I have one up on my Instagram actually and it is so cute and believe it or not so many of my friends actually really appreciated this video because it's just cute and it's a great memory to have so I really recommend doing something like this. It doesn't even have to be that advanced, you can just open iMovie or whatever and make a cute video. The third thing is buy new school supplies for the new semester. I personally love school supplies, so I mean, this is not a problem for me. But you should get some new school supplies or see what you already have at home. The fourth thing is to get used to waking up by an alarm every single day. So this can be kind of hard and the real question is will you ever get used to waking up by an alarm i don't think so or i don't know like it never gets easier i don't get it number five is to get your school bag ready so maybe you need a new school bag or you already have one that you like Either way, you should get your things ready and make sure you have all of the essentials that you need. Number six is to clean and organize your room. Nothing's better than a new, fresh start. Um, so it's always good to have organized drawers and a clean room. So change your sheets, wipe off your dresser and make sure your room is clean. Number seven is watch my YouTube back to school videos if you want to. I have a few up on my channel. I have done back to school videos for like years now. I just love them. So if you're interested, if you want to get inspired for the new year, you should go and watch those. Number eight is to go through last semester's project. So over the summer, you've probably gotten a little bit more stupid than before. So it wouldn't hurt to go through your old project and maybe do a little bit of math and just like read through your old essays.
Number nine is to pull an all-nighter. But before you do this, make sure you're aware of the side effects because there are actually a lot. I did not know this. I'm not one to stay up all night, but I didn't really know that it was bad, like this bad. So, you know, just a heads up. So the last and final 10, thing number 10 is to mentally prepare for school. How? Well, I don't know. I'm just kidding. But mentally prepare for school. Like, get in the school mindset again. Realize that you do have to go back to school. Get your shit together. Like, get a routine. Go to bed earlier. Um, do your things. Do your homework. Don't procrastinate. I know it's easier said than done. But try not to procrastinate and just get in that school mindset again. Maybe you could start it off by like having a chill day with me, like not not with me, but like with yourself. <laughs> um, like do a face mask, drink some tea, relax, and then just get into school again. And I personally really hope that you are all going to have an amazing year in school. Um, I really hope that everything is going to work out for you, that you're going to get good grades and that you're going to friends or get better friends with your old friends. And I hope that you're going to have a great year overall. So that was it for today's video. Hope that you liked it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!